parents' lives that we regularly attend the church with two Christian parents who did not drink, they did not smoke, there was no gambling, there was no physical abuse or fighting in the home. I'm not saying this was leave it to be when you weren't perfect. No, no, I don't know that such a home exists, but it was a fine, solid Christian home and nobody, uh, I hope no one will try to take the easy way out and to try to blame or otherwise accuse my, my family of contributing to this because uh, I know, and I'm trying to tell you as honestly as I know how, what happened, and I think this is a message I'm going to get across. But as a young, a, a young boy, and I mean boy of uh, 12 or 13, certainly, uh, that I encountered outside the home again, uh, in uh, the local grocery store, the local uh, drugstore, the softcore pornography, what people call softcore. Uh, but as I think I, I explained to you last night, Dr. Dobson, in an anecdote, that as young boys do, we explored the, the back roads and sideways and byways of our neighborhood, and oftentimes people would dump the garbage and whatever they were cleaning out of the house, and from time to time we come across uh, pornographic books of a harder nature than uh, more uh, graphic, you might say, more explicit nature than you would encounter at, say, your local grocery store. And this also included such things as, let's say, detective magazines and uh, more hard Those that involve violence. Yes, yes. And, I, 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 and this is something I think I want to emphasize, is the, 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 the most damaging uh, uh, kinds of pornography. And my, again, I'm talking from personal experience. Uh, hard, real, personal experience. The most damaging kinds of pornography are those that involve violence and, and sexual violence. But I'm not blaming pornography and not saying that it caused me uh, to go out and do certain things. And I take full responsibility for whatever I've done and all the things that I've done. That's not the question here. My experience with, I uh, say, pornography generally, but with pornography that deals on a violent level with sexuality, is that once you become addicted to it, and I look at this as a kind of addiction, uh, like other kinds of addiction, of addiction, you keep, I would keep looking for more potent, more explicit, more graphic kinds of material. Like an addiction, you keep craving something which is harder, harder, something which, which gives you a greater uh, sense of, of, of excitement. Until you reach the point where the pornography only goes so far, you reach that jumping off point where you begin to wonder if, if maybe actually doing it will give you that which is beyond just reading about it or looking at it. Things which said, no, this is wrong. I mean, this, even to think of it is wrong, but it, certainly to do it is wrong. And you're on, well, I'm on that edge in these, the last, the, the, you might say, the last vestiges of restraint. Barriers to actually doing something were being tested constantly and assault, uh, assailed um, through the kind of fantasy life that was fueled largely by pornography. Uh, we're talking about an influence which, that is, the influence of violent types of media and violent pornography, which had an, was, was an indispensable link in the chain of behavior, the chain of events that led to the behaviors, to the, to the assaults, to the murders, and what, and what have you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very difficult thing to describe uh, at the same time. Um, the, uh, the, the fantasy lives that were fueled by pornography uh, eroded them further. Some people would, would say that, well, I, I've seen that stuff and it doesn't do anything to me. And I can understand that. I don't, virtually everyone uh, can be exposed to so-called pornography and while they're aroused to it to one degree or another, not go out and do anything wrong. I think people need to recognize that it's not some kind of... The, 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 those of us who, are, who have been so much influenced by violence in the media, in particular, pornographic violence, are not some kinds of inherent monsters. We are your sons and we are your husbands. And 
we grew up in regular families and pornography can reach out and snatch a kid out of any house today he, he snatched me out of my home it snatched me out of my home 20 30 years ago and, and as diligent as my parents were and as good a Christian home as we had, and we had a wonderful Christian home, uh, there is no protection against the kinds that the kinds of influences that are loose in the society that, that, that tolerates.